Today we're going to be talking about a application called Shodan. And what Shodan is, is that it's a web crawler that crawls 24-7. They have servers in eight different countries, so certain parts of regions ban different parts of the world from accessing parts of the internet. So let's say countries like China ban certain IP addresses from the United States so that they can't go to those websites and can't target them. And so what this does is with the servers all around the world, it actually enables them to get every single IP address possible. And what they do is they generate a random IP address and a random port and they grab the banner. So when you go to the website, it's called Shodan.io. And when you go there, right at the top, you can see that the search engine is for all Internet of Things. And so what that means is they have... Um, webcams, refrigerators, buildings, they have everything that's connected to the internet on here. And so up here there's actually a search engine and <clears throat> most people don't know this about this search engine but the only downfall about it is it doesn't search the metadata that this application has gathered before. It only uses information that's um, found in the banner. So when they banner grab an IP address or whatever you're searching for it just looks in the banner, it doesn't look through all the data it has from the past. So you can search in anything, so you can type in just webcams and it'll come up with all different webcam IP addresses. You can type in um, pretty much anything you want, but the best way to utilize the search bar is to use filters. So using a filter is anything from a city to an organization to a port number and so I can pretty much search anything so I can do port 22 and it'll pull up everything that's on port 22 and as you can see there's 18 million results that came back and so when you use a search bar you never want to use a space so you wouldn't want to do port space 22 the only time you ever want to use spaces is if you're using a certain filter like city and you want to do sandy sand Diego like that <clears throat> alright there we go here we go alright so now it will pull up every IP address that they found from San Diego so I can also go to maps here and it'll show me on the maps where in San Diego each IP address is and which different things is running on it and stuff so we're gonna have to zoom way in over here and as you can see it only pulls up the results from the city which is really useful. Where'd it go? So as you can see, when we zoom in here, it shows you exactly where all they are in the location. So that's really useful if you want to, you know, target. If you know what you want to target, but you don't know the IP address or anything like that, and you know they're running Apache or something, you can actually just search Apache and then that location and it'll find it so you can do this with anything you can do states so I can do states and then I can do Massachusetts it's updating but um, pretty much you can use the search filters for anything and while we're using the all the way up there as you can see the target it was done updating so you can check this out on your own time but as you go back to here, let, let's say you want to see what people are running SSH, but you don't want them to be using port 22. So what I could do is if I don't want to use, if I want to search SSH and I don't want to use port 22, I can do product open SSH, and then I can do port And as you can see, the dash here in front of port means that um, you want to search everything except that area. So everything except port 22. And so what this will do is it will show you all the different people that are running SSH on a different port. So it will be more vulnerable, not as secure. So it's just another way to get more information. As you can see, there's 757,000 results for it. So if anything that you search, Shodan also lets you create a report. <coughs> and as you can see, what you're going to do is you want to click on create a report. When you search something and you get the information you want to need, you can create a report for it and it will put it in a nice um, graph and really easy to use way to see the information. 
And what you can do is, let's say you want to um, monitor how much of a difference there is from week to week. You can create a report each week and compare the different information and see how much it changes. Another cool feature that Shodan has is um, Shodan Exploit. So how you get to it is it's exploits.shodan.io. So it's just the same website but with exploits dot in front of it. And so what the exploits is, is it's exploits gathered from CVE, Metasploit, and Exploit Database. And you can use search filters in this also that consists of um, platforms, authors, descriptions, the type. So you could do, you want to do a type and you just want a remote exploit, then it will pull up all different remote exploits. And so um, what you could also do is you could type in, let's say you know the CVE number, you can type that in directly and find the results and find the, ex excuse me, the exploit. So it's a really powerful tool overall. It's a application I definitely encourage you guys to look at. Um, I will be doing a tutorial on the command line version. You can do a lot, get a lot more information with the command line. It is more difficult to use, but there will be a tutorial coming soon about that. So thanks for watching, subscribe, and like the video.